Hello! Do you work with tests and assessments and need to make sure that they are producing quality scores and results? Itaman is a software program that is designed specifically to automate the process of psychometric analysis. Psychometrics is the science of assessment, which is dedicated to uh, the process of developing, uh, delivering, and analyzing tests and assessments uh, effectively and defensively. In particular, Itaman implements classical test theory, uh, which is a tried and true approach to evaluating item and test performance. Uh, this video will provide a tutorial on how to run the new version of Eidman 4.5, which was released in January 2022. So you see I have the software open on my screen here. Uh, there's four steps in, that you see in the upper left. Select files, input format, scoring options, and output options. Uh, these are the four things that you need to do to get the program to run. Uh, there's also advanced options you see below there. Uh, create multiple runs file means that you can create essentially a uh, old DOS style batch. Um, so if you've got to run the same analysis on 20 different test forms, instead of having to come in and click run on item in 20 times, you can just click run once and it'll automatically run it 20 times. Um, and you can also open and edit your options file, which allows you to change the defaults for many of the things that I'm going to show you. Uh, and then on the bottom in the, in the left, there's the license information for your uh, software. Uh, Itaman comes as a free version that allows you to analyze small data sets just to learn psychometric analysis. Um, but if you're going to be analyzing any real data sets, you'll want to upgrade. So the first thing you see here is to specify the data matrix file uh, and then the control file. If I go back here and show you what these files look like, the data file is essentially the spreadsheet of candidate or examinee or student responses. In the first column, we have uh, the candidate name or ID number. Um, then we have group membership. In this case, it's male and female, uh, but you can put whatever you want there. In fact, it's not even necessary to have that column at this point. Um, we might be ad adding additional functionality around that later. And the rest of these are answers to four option multiple choice questions. Next is the control file. The control file uh, is also a spreadsheet or CSV file. Uh, the first has the item ID or item name. Uh, then the correct answer uh, for the item in the case of uh, rating scale items, it could be plus or minus for positively or negatively scored uh, rating scales. Then there are a number of options or points available. Then the domain or subscore. In this case, I just have three simple domains named one, two, and three, but you can name them you know, uh, ophthalmology glaucoma or something specific like that if you want to. Uh, the next column is what we call inclusion code. Uh, yes means that the item is included in the analysis. N means that you're completely excluding it. And P means that it's a pretest or pilot item, which means that you're going to calculate some statistics on it, but you're not going to count it towards the student's final scores. And then the last column here is the item type. In this case, they're all multiple choice items, but we also support partial credit and rating scale items. So back to item man. We select the data file. Then we select the control file. Uh, note that you don't have to make those from scratch. The uh, software, when you download it, comes with a copy of each of those, and you're welcome to just do a save as and put in your own data. Uh, then we got to give the output file a name. We can call it new one. Uh, and then we can give the run a title. So this is the title that goes on the uh, front page of your report. We can, we can say maybe it's fifth grade math. Uh, there's an option for doing an external score file here. Uh, for example, if you wanted to read in theta values from an IRT scoring at some point later uh, to correlate against those. The next step is to tell Itaman what to expect in the input file. Um, you can choose either fixed width text or dat files, which is um, uh, the 1980s approach of like a, a text file. Um, but it does allow you, uh, opposed to CSV or tab files, to use larger data sets because a CSV or tab file, uh, because each individual answer is separated by a comma or a tab, um, you're using twice as many characters when it comes to a, a large data set. So you could have really, really large files if you're doing you know, 200,000 examinees, uh, which Itaman is able to handle large data sets. So uh, this example I have is a common to deliver a file in spreadsheets like I showed you. And we do have the response matrix in the first column. Uh, you can specify custom scored or emit character here. So I have S 
or O, um, it's up to you. Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then you can choose whether to do in differential item functioning. In this case, yes, I'm going to do differential item functioning. And I've got M and F in there, like we saw as those uh, possible groups. And you can change the number of different uh, ability groupings for diff using the Mandel Hansel procedure. Next is the scoring options. You can compute scaled scoring. Uh, so for instance, if you want to convert it to an old SAT style scale, we can have a mean of 500 and a standard deviation of 100. Uh, but again, this is optional. Uh, you can choose to classify examinees based upon score. For example, having a raw score of 22 out of 40, I think this has 40 questions in it, as a pass or fail. Um, uh, or you can change this to high or low or something else. But again, that's optional. And next we have um, output options. So this is telling uh, Itaman how to structure some of the things in the output, especially the automation processes, um, where we're trying to uh, use make the system smarter to save time for a psychometrician. So the old approach was to have a psychometrician look through a spreadsheet of item statistics and um, make sure that they were uh, looking good, but uh, Itaman will flag them for you based upon different uh, ranges or other uh, considerations. So like we can set the difficulty range as 0 0.4 to 0 0.98. Uh, why would we choose those types of numbers? Uh, well, those are the bottom and top of an acceptable range. Uh, given that a multiple choice question has 0.25 chance of somebody guessing, uh, you can say arguably that you know a, a p-value of 0.4 or too low is getting too difficult. Uh, likewise, you might say 0.98 or above is too high because the item is not providing sufficient information about examinees then because it's just slam dunk too easy. Uh, you can uh, specify the item mean range if it's polytomous data, but we don't have polytomous data in this example. And you can specify the correlation range. So let's say we're going to allow uh, point by serials above 1.0 or 0 0.10, sorry, and anything below 0 0.10 will get flagged as not being discriminating enough or not being powerful enough. You can choose whether to exclude omits from option statistics. You can choose whether to have spuriousness co correlation. Um, that refers to the fact that item total correlations, uh, because the item itself is part of the total score, you're correlating it to itself in some small part. Doesn't really matter if you're doing a large exam like 50 or 100 or 200 items, because you know it's like 1% or half a percent of an effect in that case. Um, but if you're doing an assessment that has only 10 questions, uh, that could have a very big impact. And then lastly, you can choose how to format some of your output, such as choosing how many decimal places you want, whether you want to produce quantile plots, which are a graphical depiction of how the item is performing for every question, um, and then whether you're going to uh, do additional score groups uh, if you want to do a collusion matrix, which looks at uh, cheating analysis, um, and if you want to save some extra uh, files here too. Uh, you can customize the flags that Iron Man will produce. So for example, 0.4 and 0.98 here that I have here would be flagged as being low P, LP, or high P, HP. Um, but you can change these to uh, different terms if you want to, uh, especially if you prefer to work in a language other than English. So you can just easily change those to acronyms that make sense for you. Uh, with that, I will click Run. And you'll see Item Man quickly calculates statistics. And then the program has completed the item analysis. Uh, and then you can open up the output file and evaluate that. And uh, But for now, I will just stop there uh, since this particular video was on how to run Itaman, and I will have a separate video on how to interpret its results uh, because this is also providing deep instructions on how to work with classical test theory to improve the quality of your assessment. Thank you.